On this week's boiler tip, we're going to take a look at linkage geometry. I know I've mentioned that before, but we're going to look at some of the practical ways we can adjust the speed and behavior of linkage arms relative to each other, which is really important in the linkage tuning phase of combustion. And to start with, I've got a mod motor set up for a standard 90 degree stroke. I've got the arm lengths the same from the mod motor to the first jack shaft and the arm lengths the same radius length on the second, on the first and second jack shafts. So we can drive that through the range and what we'll see is that we get approximately 90 degrees travel on each of these and they're moving at the same speed and they're basically equal degree changes throughout. And that is the simplest way to set up linkages, but it doesn't always match the flows that we end up getting through our air damper and our butterfly. So we're gonna take a couple opportunities to set this up differently so we can see examples of how we can modify that. So we've gone full open and we'll drive back full closed and our angular values are the same on both jack shafts. So here I've shortened the radius length on the drive arm and left the receiving arm the same length. So what we should see as this modulates upward is that this is going to move at the prior speed, but this arm is actually going to be slowed down. And that's beneficial if equal movement is giving you too much air in relation to the amount of fuel flow that we're getting through the metering valve or oil valve. So let's watch this operate and compare those relative degrees as we go. So at 20 degrees travel on the first jack shaft, we're at about 15 degrees on the second jack shaft. At 40 degrees on the first jack shaft, we're at about 25 degrees on the second jack shaft. And we can see the driving arm continue to travel and because of the difference in the radius length, the receiving arm actually stops. So we end up with a final travel of 80 degrees on the first jack shaft and 40 on the second. And that's good if our air is opening and giving us much more air than we need as we go up the firing range. So in this example, we've left the original radius of the driving arm the same, but we've shortened the receiving arm radius. And that's going to cause the second jack shaft to drive at a very accelerated rate. In fact, I'm going to stop the mod motor so we don't over travel on it. Usually we don't make adjustments quite this significant, but for the purposes of the video, we're exaggerating a little bit. So let's let this drive and compare those angles. So we can see in this example, by the time we've moved 50 degrees on the driving arm, we've moved 70 degrees on the receiving arm. And that allows us to open the air damper farther as needed so that we get more air in relation to the fuel. So the options of shortening the driving arm or shortening the receiving arm allows us to make that air damper in this case open faster or slower than the fuel and that helps us coordinate those flow rates.